everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I already did my brows and there's a damn fly in here. So I already did my foundation and my brows and we're going to be doing this look that I did on my Instagram. And since I had a lot of requests on doing this look, I'm going to do it today for you guys. So let's get started with this look. First I'm going to use NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone and I'm going to apply this literally all over my lid. Then I'm going to grab Kat Von D's uh, shade and light contour palette and I'm going to go with the yellow shade in the middle. And pretty much what I'm going to do is apply this all over the lid to set the base that I just applied. This will help the shadows blend really, really nicely and make the colors fade from one to another. I love this technique. Then I'm going to grab my Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going to go with this yellowish brown, which is like a mustard kind of shade. And I'm just going to grab a blending brush. I'm actually use this color as my transition shade. For my uh, highlight under my brow, I'll be using this shade from the same palette. And I'm going to apply this shade right under the curvature of my brow. Then I'm going to go back with my Morphe palette and I'm going to grab these three colors right here. So I'm grabbing a really pointy brush. And I'm just going to mix some. Um, I'm going to apply this right onto my crease and kind of make it into a V shape. And slowly bringing it inward. And then I'm going to grab my brush again and I'm just going to blend the edges. And then I'm also going to apply the same color right under my lower lash line. I want, it, I want this shade to be really smoky. That's the look that I'm actually going for. Now I'm going to go with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour. And I'm going to go with this black that is right there. Grab the same fluffy brush or another clean brush. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to apply this shade right here. I just want the outer part of my eye to be more dark and smoky. I'm also going to take it downwards towards my eye. Now I'm going to grab a Super Shock Shadow by Colourpop in a Cheap Date. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this literally all over the lid. And I'm literally going to pack this color all over my lid. And I'm just using a synthetic brush. I think... Synthetic brushes are actually perfect for these uh, Colourpop uh, shades because they're kind of into the creamy base and I really really like this. I'm pretty much going to cover all over the lid but I'm not going to go all the way to the outer part of the eye. We are nothing more than dust. Search but you stay lost. I'm just going to grab my blending brush and kind of blend it right here so it'll look like the gold is fading towards the black. And if you have to grab some more of that black and just tap it on the outer part of the eye. Now I'm going to 
grab ColourPop's Cream Gel Liner in Swerve and I'm going to apply this all over my water lines, top and lower. Lower water line, if that's what you call it. <laughs> Now I'm going to grab a yellow cream base. I'm going to use this from the Eye Magic Professional Cosmetic 12 Flash Color Palette. <laughs> and I'm just going to get this yellow part right here. And I'm going to apply this yellow base right here in the inner corner of my eye. And actually we're just using this shade as a base. Now I'm going to grab my 28 Neon Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to be using this bright yellow right here. And I'm going to apply this shade right on top of the yellow base just to make it a little bit more neon. Now I'm going to grab ColourPop's uh, Cream Gel Liner in Swerve and I'm going to do my eyeliner now. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara on my top and lower lashes. For lashes, I'll be using these. These are the Ardell Fashion Lashes. Now I'm just going to clean up my under eye. I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural. Fun uh, translucent powder, and I'm going to use it to set my concealer. And pretty much, I'm also going to be baking. Then I'm just going to grab my favorite bronzer, and this is by uh, Hard Candy in number 130 Tropics. And pretty much I'm going to use this kind of like as a blush and in a bronzer as, at the same time. I'm still going to apply some blush. I want some blush. Now I'm going to take off the axis of powder. For highlighter, I'm going to be using a Mineral Eye Skin Finish by MAC in Light Scapade. And I really, really love this color. I'm just going to grab a, what is this, a tapering brush. So I'm going to grab some of that Light Scapade shade. And I'm going to grab my um, Urban Decay Setting Spray just to get it wet. And then I'm going to apply my highlight. Because I want it to shine a little bit more. Also, I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose. Not too much. And a little bit right here on the bridge of my nose. For blush, I'll be using the uh, Milani powder blush in tea rose and I love this shade I know you guys see me use it a bunch of times but I really 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 love this color and ugh, I'm obsessed okay I'm obsessed and I'm just gonna apply this right on the apples of the cheeks I'm not gonna go any further back and now for the lips I'm gonna go first with a lip liner this is a Goldfinger lip liner in chocolate and pretty much what I'm going to do is go on the perimeter of the lips and then filling the inside of the lips. And now for my favorite part of the lips, I'm going to use a matte, uh, what is this, 
uh, Ultra Matte Lip in Limbo. And I'm going to apply it literally all over the lips. That's the part you always show your true And that is it guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the subscribe button below. Love you guys. And maybe I'll see you on the next video. Bye.